she ain't going anywhere. <laughs> if I can help it, she bats. And I want her to bat. Uh, in cricketing terms. I first met Tehmina and today allow me to call her Princess Tehmina. <laughs> why? 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 There's a reason for that. As an observer, I've seen you conduct yourself with dignity, with grace, with honor, with sincerity, commitment to the cause, to Pakistan, and to the Foreign Service. And in my eyes, anyone who's capable of doing that is a princess. So, Princess Tamina Jinjua, I met you for the first time when I came in as Foreign Minister 2008, many, many years ago. You're very young, but you're younger then. <laughs> And I have, uh, I've had the pleasure of working with you when you were DG uh, Strategic Planning with Salman Bashir, who was the Foreign Secretary. And we interacted. He used to represent the Foreign Secretary, come over with files, points, you know, and we should discuss. My respect for her went up exponentially. Perhaps you've forgotten. I haven't. One day, looking at her capability and competence, I asked her, Damina, would you like to work for me in my office? You know what she said? She said, I am working for you. But right now, I'm working in the Foreign Secretary's office and it's only proper that I continue there. My respect for you went up exponentially. That here is a woman of character. You know, she has stuck to principle and has shown metal. Little gestures and little things speak volumes. Then I have uh, been in and out of foreign office and I'm back in the Foreign Office. I've had the pleasure of working with her for the last, now, almost eight months. And in these eight months, there were challenging occasions. Uh, the month of February was rather engaging. The way she carried herself, I've seen her work Sundays, late hours, I mean, holiday is alien to her, vacation is alien to her. That's my, that's my, that's my view uh, and I think uh, she is an inspiration for women like you, many uh, women who serve in the foreign office that ability and competence and integrity pays. Just women. <laughs> Why? Okay, let me qualify that. Of course men, they shiver. I know that. I know that. Women because in a society which is male dominated, for a woman to rise to the top is not easy. In a third world country, it's not easy. And you've risen to the top. You're the first woman foreign secretary of Pakistan. That should be inspiration for many competent women that I have dealt with uh, in the foreign office at the DG level. I, I, I meet them, they come, you know, exchange notes. I have seen some very smart young officers and that 
gives me confidence that this institution has the ability to perform. I was in front of the Foreign Relations Committee and uh, we were discussing different issues on foreign policy. And I was an advocate for the Foreign Office and you'll be pleased to learn in today's polarized politics, every member of the Foreign Relations Committee from government to opposition was unanimous on the performance of the Foreign Office. And it wasn't, it wasn't me, it's a team. It's a teamwork. And uh, she was captaining the team. Let me admit, I've learned from her. I've enjoyed working with her. And I won't say I'm going to miss her because she's not going anywhere, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So, so uh, uh, every day of working together has been uh, wonderful. You are what a career diplomat ought to be. Uh, and I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of this institution. Ladies and gentlemen, when I left, when I was a minister last time, I, the day I resigned and I was leaving, I called the young officers and I said, I've just put in my resignation and I'm leaving. But if I ever want to serve again, the only department I would like to serve is the Foreign Office. That was the, uh, the commitment I saw in this office. And I am now uh, grateful to the officers led by her, the support they give, the long hours they put, and the way they carry themselves. I wish you well, wherever you are. And I'm not saying it uh, because it's polite to say that. You know, I can be very blunt. <laughs> Everybody knows that. I'm saying it because I mean it. I mean it. You've been an excellent officer, and it's been a treat uh, working with you. To members of the Diplomatic Corps, I can give you one assurance that I'll do my best to make things easier for you. I know there were at times difficulties, difficulties in movement and other things Paul is looking at me very carefully <laughs> and smiling and he's understanding what I'm saying. So uh, we will, it's my job to make things as comfortable for you as possible. You are friends of Pakistan. You represent my country to your capitals. You project us. You write about us. And you also play a role in improving relations, bilateral relations, giving them more depth and meaning. So thank you. Thank you for being uh, supportive. Hopefully in the days ahead, we'll try and improve <coughs> our standards their good practices. We have a lot to learn from many of you and we are not shy of learning. So thank you for being here and Damina, thank you for all that you've done 
for this institution and all that you've done for Pakistan. We'll always remain grateful. Thank you, sir. Finally, I request Foreign Secretary Tehmina Janjua to grace the podium. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Ladies and gentlemen,